Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. I'm a big tea drinker, so I want to make a rack to put a few of my teas and mugs on. So I'm just going to dig out a couple of bits of oak that I'm going to need to cut down. First, I'm going to rip the boards down so they're 100 mil wide. I'm going to use this Multico table saw that I restored a couple of years ago to do it. Now I want the boards to be a bit thinner, so I could just plane them down, but that wastes a lot of material and takes a bit of time. So I'm going to resaw them. And with this saw, I can resaw 100mm in solid oak in just one pass. Now I could have used the big band saw to do this, or even my smaller table saw in the workshop with going in from both sides. But with this one pass, you get one nice clean straight cut. I'm just going to do a very light pass through the thicknesser just to remove any saw marks. I've measured some of my tins and jars and worked out how high I want this rack to be so that I can get the side pieces cut down using the crosscut sled. I don't just want it all to be square. And I've got this template from a previous project, so I'm just going to use that to draw a curve. But previously I've used things like paint cans to draw around. Then I can get these cut out on both sides using the bandsaw. To clean up the bandsaw marks, I just use the bobbin sander. So now I get to use this router jig I made a few weeks ago for the first time in an actual project. So I get it clamped into the vise and the sides clamped onto the jig. Then I can start making the cuts. I won't go through this process in detail, but I'll put a link above and below to this router jig video. I always like to have a little test fit after I've made the cut and it all seems to go together fine. Now this rack needs some shelves and I mark out the position where two need to go and a place for a bar for the mugs to hang off. I want the shelves to slide into dados. So I swap out the blade in my table saw to my grooving one link down below like normal. Then I can set up some stops using the fence on the mitre gauge and the fence on the table saw and start nibbling away all the waste. With the cuts made, I give the pieces a quick sand down. Before I start gluing it up, I'm just gonna put some masking tape on the inside corners because it'd be hard to get to and sand afterwards. And this would just protect the wood from any glue squeeze out. So I get the glue applied to the fingers and the joints pushed together. Then I'm gonna use a couple of my new mitre clamps on each corner to pull the joint tight and make sure everything's square. After the glue's dried, the clamps can come off and then I can measure how long the shelves need to be. I get that marked out, and then using the crosscut sled, I can get the pieces cut down to length. First, I'm gonna get this bar fitted, and this is what the mugs are gonna hang off later on. So I get some glue, a bit put in, and then a couple of screws driven down to lock it into place. For the shelves, I get some glue applied to the dados and spread out. The shelves just then go in with a friction fit, and this first one might have been a little tight, but with some persuasion, it fitted okay. The second one went in exactly to plan. I always cut my finger joints a little long, so I use the belt sander just to clean them up. So the T-Rack needs a place to hang some mugs and that's what this bar's for. I 
fetched out a couple of my favorite mugs just to take the measurements and I'm going to hang them off some of these oak shaker style pegs. So let's get these fitted. I mark out where the pegs need to go and then I have to drill a half inch hole for them. I apply some PVA to each of the pegs and then they just get hammered into place. So that I can attach this to the wall, I'm going to use some brass mirror plates. So I mark out where they need to go and then I can use a Japanese pull saw to cut down and then a chisel to remove all the waste. I position the brackets, then I use a self-centering drill bit just to get the holes drilled out and then I can get them screwed down. Now in a bit I want to add some brass rails to this, so I'm just drilling out some 5mm holes above each shelf and we'll come to the rails later on. First, I'm gonna get some finish applied. So I do a couple of coats of some thin down tongue oil. Whilst I wait for that finish to dry, I can get on with the rails. So I've got some five mil brass rod that I add a bend to one end. Then I can work out how long I need it to be get that marked out and get the second bend made. Then I can just use a hacksaw to trim off any excess. To fit these, I get some CA glue put into the holes and then the rails just pushed into place. Now a final coat of finish and I'm going to use some of my badger wax and I really just like the feel of wax on things like this. It just gets brushed on, left for 10 minutes and then buffed off with a microfiber cloth. And that's it all done. I've got a place to store my teas and my favourite mugs. So that's it all done. Time for a cup of tea, I think. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.